Hey guys, I'm Sir O, your teacher on the go. Kung bago ko pa lang sa channel ko, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. For today's video lesson, for statistics and probability is all about percentile and the P distribution. Percentiles have been discussed on your grade 10 and their uses. These were also discussed at percentiles identifier of the student's performance in comparison to the performance of the whole class. In this lesson, you will explore, understand the student's t-distribution and identify the percentiles using the t-tables. The t-distribution The t-distribution, also called student's t-distribution, a family of distribution that looks almost identical to the normal distribution curve, only a bit shorter and firmer. The T distribution is used instead of the normal distribution when you have small samples. Remember, the larger the sample size, the more the T distribution looks like the normal distribution. The T distribution is similar to a normal distribution. It has a precise mathematical definition. Instead of dividing into complex math, let's look at the useful properties of the T distribution and why it is important in analysis of any set of statistical quantitative data. Like the normal distribution, the T distribution has a smooth shape. Like the normal distribution, the T distribution is symmetric. Like a standard normal distribution or the Z distribution, the T distribution has a mean of 0. The normal distribution assumes that the population standard deviation is known. The T distribution does not make this assumption. The T distribution is defined by the degrees of freedom. The T distribution is most useful for small sample size when the population standard deviation is not known or both. As the sample size increases, the T distribution becomes more similar to a normal distribution. Let us be familiar first with the following words. Degree of freedom. This refers to the maximum number of logically independent values which vary in the data sample. Percentile. This is a measure of position with data divided into 100 parts. Below is the T table which you can use to find the T value. Illustrative example. Number 1. Identify the T value whose number of the sample n is equal to 7 and has an area equal to 0 0.05. Number 2, find the T value whose degree of freedom is 20 and has right tailed area of 0 0.01. Number 3, identify the T value of the following percentiles given the number of samples. Letter A, 95th percentile, number of samples, is equal to 30. Letter B, 90th percentile, number of samples, is equal to 20. Let us answer number 1. Identify the T value whose number of sample is equal to 7 and has an area equals to 0 0.05. Solution, step 1 is to identify the T value. Identify first the degree of freedom using the formula Df is equal to n minus 1, where n is the sample size. In our example, the sample size is 7. So Df is equal to 7 minus 1. Now our degree of freedom is equal to 6. Step 2 is to locate the t-value on the t-table using the degree of freedom and the area. This is the t-table. 
In our example, we have degree of freedom is equal to 6. And the right tail area is equal to 0 0.05. Therefore, the T value with sample size of 7 and has an area of 0 0.05 is 1.943. Let us now proceed on number 2. Find the T value whose degree of freedom is 20 and has right tailed area of 0 0.01. Since the degree of freedom and the area are already given, locate the t-value on the t-table. On our t-table, we have degree of freedom of 20 and the area of 0 0.01. Therefore, the t-value with degree of freedom 20 and has area of 0 0.01 is 2.528. Now, let us proceed on number 3. Identify the t-value of the following percentiles given the number of samples. Letter A, 95th percentile. Number of sample is equal to 30. Solution. Step 1 is to identify the t-value. Identify first the degree of freedom using the formula Df minus n minus 1. In our example, we have... 30 minus 1. So the degree of freedom is equals to 29. Step 2. The 95th percentile is the number where 95% of the value lies below it and 5% lie above it. Convert 5% to decimal. We have 5% divided by 100 is equals to 0 0.05. So therefore, you want the right tail area to be 0 0.05. Step 3. Locate the t-value on the t-table using the degree of freedom and the area. We have 29 degree of freedom and 0 0.05 right tail area. So therefore, the t-value of 95th percentile with n is equal to 30 is 1.699. Letter B, 90th percentile, number of sample is equal to 20. Solution, step 1, to identify the T value. Identify first the degree of freedom using the formula Df is equal to n minus 1. In this example, we have 20 minus 1. Therefore, the degree of freedom is equal to 19. Step 2. The 90th percentile is the number where 90th percent of the value lie below it and 10% lie above it. Convert 10% to decimal. We have 10% divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.10. So therefore, you want the right tail area to be 0 0.10. Step 3 is to locate the T value on the T table using the degree of freedom and the area. In our example, we have 19 degree of freedom and 0 0.10 area. Therefore, the T value of the 90th percentile with Sample of 20 is 1.328. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. For more video lessons and tutorials updates, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Muli, I'm Sir O, your teacher on the go. Adios, amigos.